Hello everyone. I just want to make a video to go over how to set up a project in WeVideo. I know I covered this in class, but just in case any of you need a refresher, here's a video for you. The first thing we're going to do is start with creating a video. There are some other things over here that we may or may not get to, but we are just making a video today. So you'll click on video. And you're going to save it in your projects. And we're going to start editing. Now, what you will notice when you start editing is that you see that there are three tracks over here. And the three tracks are two videos and audio. And this just means you can put three layers on top of one another. And actually, I think you can add even more layers. You can. But we're not going to worry about that at the moment because your first video is going to be very simple. So the first thing we need to do is import your media. In class and in another video, I showed you how to save images to your Google Drive. And this is where you're going to import them from. So you see over here, there's even a arrow in a cloud because Google Drive is a cloud storage. So you click on that and then you come down to the bottom left of your a window over here and you can see Google Drive is going to be opened. So in my Google Drive, you should have already set up a folder like this, multimedia. So you would go into that folder and this is where your images would be if you save them in the right place. As you can see, I have a bunch of stuff in here. So I've saved mine in another folder in my folder. That's something I tend to do. There are folders and folders and folders. But you are a normal person, so you probably just have these images in your multimedia. And then you can click on the first one, hold down Shift, click on the last one, and then you can import all of those files. So now we have our images imported, and we are ready to begin our video project. Now you'll notice in the directions, the first thing is there must be a title card. Just like when you are writing an essay, your essay should have a title. When you are making a video, your video needs to have a title. So you will go over here to text. And there are all different kinds of text templates that you can use. You can pick any one that you want. I just want you to have some kind of way of communicating to your audience what the name of your video is. So. I have dragged. So all you do is you click on one of these and drag it down and drop it into video one. And if you watch this, that's what it looks like. But of course, I don't want that text on there. So if you double click on this, you can see if I click on the little speech bubble over here, I can now change this text to something else. So I'm going to call my video, I'm stranded on an island. So when I go back and look at it, and I press play, cool, cool intro. Good job, Mr. Wheeler. Thank you. Now I go to my media. So I've got my title card, and now if you look on the second thing for the video expectations, all four images must be present and lightly animated in some fashion. So how do you get your images? Just like you did with the title, you click on one of them and you drag it down. And there it is. Now I do say that I want them lightly animated. This is what I mean. If you look over here, there are some things that you can add and that is all covered if you double click on your image and then it brings you to this tab and you can use the scale scroll to make your image bigger or smaller if you make your image or if your image doesn't fit completely across the screen like this like if there's some kind of black bars around your image then i highly recommend that you use this blurred background option because videos with just Darkness around them is not that interesting to look at, honestly. 
And this is where you animate. So you see over here, animation. And the way animation works in video editing is you need to set a starting point and an end point, and then the app animates the video or the image for you. So I'm going to click on start. And there are a couple of options here. You can either have it move. So when I click on start and I move this image to the left, and I click on end and you see the image is on the right. So that means this image is going to animate and move from the beginning point to the end point. So let's see what that looks like. I'll save changes. And then when I press play, look at that. Beautiful. There are some other animations you can do. You can have it start small and end big. So now when we look at this again, you'll notice it starts small and, wrote, and moves over to the right and ends up big. And there you go. And that's our clip. So basically, when I say lightly animated, I just want you to play around with these settings and get used to moving images around on the screen. That's all I'm looking for here. There's also a fade option. I don't really like fades that much, but if you like fades, go ahead with your bad self. Save changes. Okay, so I have my first two points. I have a title card. I have an image that is lightly animated. What I don't have is the third point, which is titles for each of the images are understandable and easy to read. So I need to add a title, and this is where the next layer comes in, the next track, because I can go to text at the top of my menu up here, and I'm going to use a static text because there's already movement happening on the screen. I don't really think I need any more movement from these motion texts. So I will just take a basic text and drag it over here. And now you can see sample text on my screen. And if I double click on this sample text, this will bring me to the menu where I can move this text around. I'm going to keep it at the top of the screen here. And just like with a lot of other things, you can animate it. But I need to change this text from sample text to the word rope. Rope for bonding, carrying, and whoop and climbing. So this is what I'm going to use this rope for. Now you'll notice when I filled out all that text, it kind of broke and came off the page a little bit. So what I need to do is I need to reduce the size a little bit. Binding, okay, I like it. And now I'm going to move it around. And I want it like kind of at the top of the screen here. Or maybe a little bit on the left. That's up to you, however you want this to do. Remember, this is your video. I'm just trying to get you to play around with what we're doing. Save changes. Now notice what happens when I play this. The image plays and then it goes black and the text continues going. And you can see that's because this is bigger, this being the text, is bigger than the image. So what I do is I click on the text, and then you see when I hold my mouse over to the right-hand side of the text, it says click and drag to trim the ending of the clip. This app is so helpful. It gives you these little pop-up, helpy things. And now you notice that my text is only on top of my image. You need to make sure that your text matches your image. It should not be jumbled up and mixed. And that's really all I'm asking you to do, everyone. So uh, you've got your title card, you've got your image lightly animated, you've got your text. The only other thing you need to add here is end credits, and end credits are just like what we did for the title card. You just need to change it from whatever it is that you started with to 
edited by and your name. I will show you some other things, but this is just a basic introduction to importing images to your media and getting them on your timeline. Good luck, everyone.